is a sad day for many Wolfpack fans in Williamson, West Virginia. Tonight, the boys' basketball team played its last game ever in the Williamson Fieldhouse. News Channel 3 Sarah Sager went to the game, and Sarah, an emotional reunion for a lot of those lifelong fans. It definitely was, Tim. The Fieldhouse was packed with at least 3,000 Wolfpack fans, some who haven't graduated yet, others who graduated more than 70 years ago. And while Williamson High School is set to consolidate with four other schools next year, the alumni there agree they'll always bleed maroon and white. It's the last few handshakes. The last tip off. The last few baskets. For some, the Wolfpack tradition is one they can't believe is coming to an end. It seems like this community has a bond that not a lot has. Jerry Hurley, president of the Athletic Association, graduated from Williamson High School in 1982. I've had friends and people that I went to school with, no matter how far they roam, we always come back and we have good memories about what has happened, mainly in this facility or on this, or on this athletic campus or even at school. Darren McCormick, mayor of Williamson, wouldn't miss the last game. With, with uh, you know, declining populations, unfortunately, uh, this community is scheduled to lose its school. But um, in, in the days of being a large school and playing AAA level competition, they, they would pack this house out with 55,000 people. A tradition athletic director Joel Anderson believes won't end on the court. We've had pep rallies the last couple weeks, and we've talked about uh, carrying on a tradition and to represent, not just to represent yourselves as a team, but to represent all the players that have played here and all the bands that have here in the league for field house. This, this is about the uh, tradition of champions, the tradition of winning. And I can't say enough about what that tradition means to this community and, and people all around the area. It's something that's been going on. Uh, it's, it's, all, it's bigger than life. It's got a life in its own. Right? Now four schools will consolidate into a new location in Mingo County, Williamson, Birch, Matawan, and Gilbert High. And Tim, the new school is now under construction and will be called the Mingo Central Comprehensive High School. And a lot of memories for a lot of those schools, and that's the thing. People have to look back and think about what they had, and I guess now the kids can look at what they have in the future. It's definitely something they love. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. Williamson High School is currently a single-A school in West Virginia. This year, the basketball team has lost 11 games, but they are still hoping to make it to the state championship in Charleston next week. Let's go to Williamson Fieldhouse, the last Wolfpack game ever here. What an arena, huh? Wahama on the break. Nice dish from Trenton Gibbs to Ryan Lee. But Jason May for the Wolfpack responds with a three, and the pack can rejoice. They roll, and they're headed to Charleston as Williamson gets the 65-39 win. Get a full plate of single-A games today. All four quarterfinal round matchups, Charleston Catholic and Williamson. Emotions running high for the Wolf Pack. Could it be the last game? Nick George driving and laying it in for CC, and then Will Dobbins with the jumper here for the Fighting Irish. Bill McClanahan's crew trying to knock off the Wolf Pack. Jason May, the fadeaway jumper. Williamson hanging around. Austin Banks, the rebound and the putback. Kirk Fletcher's team up at the break. In the third quarter, it's going to be Chris Hatcher right here driving and scoring. Then May for the three-pointer gets it to go. But John Paul Tupta and company just a little too strong. The rebound and the putback. Tupta had 15. And then how about George right here? Just a freshman, the slam, 11, the Irish win at 45 to 32. Let's check out Charleston Catholic. Catholic uh, going at it this afternoon against Williamson. And we uh, check out the highlights. Look at that. It's St. Patrick's Day and they got some beards going early on. Dobbins gets the three-pointer for Charleston Catholic. Will Dobbins. And then Cameron Johnson for Williamson. Hoping it's not their last game ever. Pass on the perimeter, makes the long shot. Catholic has to, Garrenser steals it. This is ahead for the lay-in as the Irish starting to assert themselves. Then Catholic will get the rebound. That's Nick George. He's been a star all season long for him. Takes it down the court. And, and you know what? In Class A, I'm not stereotyping, you don't see a lot of dunks. How about that one? Throws it down. Catholic advances. They beat Williamson 45-32. I'd have probably graded us out today about a, um, a, a C plus, and we're going to have to have an A game on, win on Friday if we expect to be competitive with Madonna. Saying goodbye is never easy, and today's students and alumni of Williamson High School were left with that very tough task. They can't tell school now, but they can't tell spirit. Let's go back. Williamson.
Thompson basketball team hit the court in Charleston for the state tournament. They lost, marking their final game ever as a school. The school is consolidating with three other schools in Mingo County. That's a hard loss for the Wolfpack fans, their team, and especially their coach. Uh, I started going to Houston High School in 1964, and I've been part of it uh, ever since. So it's a, it's a tough ride. Williamson's basketball team is the only one of the schools that will consolidate that actually made it to Charleston to the finals. A proud basketball tradition has come to an end. This is the 101st and final year for Williamson High School. It's consolidating with Gilbert, Birch, and Mate One for the next school year. The Wolfpack qualified for the state tournament and tangled with Charleston Catholic in a class single A first round matchup. The Fighting Irish prevailed, closing the book on Williamson basketball forever. We're the Wolfpack. We love basketball. That's what we do, where we're from, and it's sad, but. You know, we're proud of our boys. They did a good job. It was a hard fought game. And, you know, that's, that's all you can do is try your best. In its history, Williamson captured six state basketball championships and is ranked number five on West Virginia's all time hoops win list.